Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. Trips like this are the reason I love Texas. Viva Terlingua! Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods this great state has to offer. Just dig in. Now, this isn't your normal baked potato. That is perfection. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, YOLO! You only live once, Texas. Welcome to season four of YOLO Texas. My name is Jackie, producer of the show, and despite everything that we've seen across our great state, we still have so much more in store for y'all. But first, to kick off this next season, we're changing things up a little bit, and we're gonna reintroduce you to our team of traveling Texans, thanks to a little help with our friends at Jordan Motor Cars. Hey, see, what's hey, going on? on? Good to see you. Welcome to San Marcos yeah. and Gil's Broiler. They're known for their Mansky roll. Gotcha. What is a Mansky roll? It is a huge cinnamon roll and it is Perfect. delicious. Great. I haven't had breakfast, so hopefully this will get me through the day. Yeah. <laughs> Dessert for breakfast is awesome. Let's awesome. go. Awesome. Sounds good. The reason why I chose to come here to San Marcos is because everyone really knows me as the San Antonio girl. For sure. I mean, I have a Spurs mask. Yeah. <laughs> this is a side of me that people don't really know is my right. um, San Marcos affiliation and yeah. and my love for San Marcos. So it's your second home. Yeah, it really is my for second sure. home. It is the best of three worlds. You have San Antonio that is 45 minutes away. You have Austin that's 20 minutes away, and then you have the beautiful San Marcos River right through the middle of campus. So it is really, really just a hidden gem that people don't really, um, I guess, appreciate or see. It's just yeah, exactly. We've done some tubing out here, which was a lot of fun mm -hmm. and beautiful. So I'm excited to uh, take a drive around. Yeah, oh, pretty little thing I picked Jackie. up. <laughs> Got it, okay. <laughs> Yellow Texas, baby. What's going on, man? Not much. Excited to be taking a drive around with you today. In this I know. Beautiful car. It is. It is very nice. A nice Benz. Thanks to our friends at Jordan Motors. I happen to be. I don't know if you noticed my throwback. Yeah, the Concha Texas shirt. Texas humor Concha shirt. I yeah. get so many compliments on this Concha shirt. It's like people either get it or they don't. It's a Texas shaped yeah. Concha. Yeah. No, I, I love that shirt. <laughs> in terms of sales, it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be, but I think it, you know, especially for anyone who grew up in a Hispanic household like we did. Yes, for uh, sure. It's a pretty, pretty good joke. Uh, for for those who do get it, I people come up to me and are like, "I love your shirt. Where did you get it? <laughs> Texas humor, man." Yeah, no, I'm mean, I'm excited because you know I know especially the last couple of seasons. Uh, things with with Texas humor and, and my business kept me a little busy, so haven't been able to be on quite as many segments. But yeah. uh, excited to be back in, in the mix coming into this. Year. Ooh, all right, get it, Jackie. Oh, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Like, look how beautiful the sparkles are. Oh, the Listening. sparkles. The sparkles. The sun glistening on the ocean. Yeah. What was it? like growing up in Corpus. Born and raised here. Nice. Um, went to Cal Allen ISD. Go Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you miss about Corpus. What do you miss about Corpus? Um, besides my, missing my family, um, I miss like the scenery. I mean, the yeah. water is right there. Yeah. I was always about 15 minutes away from it. And it's just one of the most calming things to like look at like be around, you smell the ocean water. It's beautiful. Sea salt air. And today is beautiful. I know, this is a perfect day for us to be out here. Nice. All right, Tess. So What's we're up, trying Jack? something new because we can't travel as much as we'd like to. Mm -hmm. So we decided to come to you, to your hometown of Houston. So this is fun. Welcome. So something that's interesting with you is every oh. <laughs> time we're on a shoot, 
you ask me for what? Ice cream, Jackie. <laughs> the simplest <laughs> request, okay? So every event that we go to, there's always ice cream, right? And even- Most of the time. Yeah, and even before I was a host, as a photog, I was like, oh, the ice cream looks so good. Jackie, after the shoot, can we get some ice cream? Yeah, Tess, yeah, just make sure sure you get that shot right there. Okay, Jack, so I'm over here getting the shot, all sweating, just waiting for my ice cream at the end of the shoot, and then it's finally over, and we just, I, I, I forget too, yeah. Everyone wants to pack up, everyone's yeah. like, let's get out of yeah. here, let's go. I do always think, uh, I just wanted ice cream, but. You remember that? All the time, but everyone's <gasps> like, let's go, let's just get out of here. I thought you so. just genuinely <laughs> forgot, oh, I feel hurt. <laughs> of course. See, we, believe it or not, are going into season four. Not sure how that came up. Or I know, four. season four, we made it, Jack. I know, <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah. We have a new host, yeah. right? A new a co-host joining the team. Yeah, she's gonna be a great addition to the team. She's a former softball player, so her and I share the love of sports and um, competitive spirit. You know what? We should probably book something where we have to compete each other. Ooh, each other. yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of that. Going down, going. Jill. Going down. <laughs> so, Jill, welcome to the Yolo Thank Texas you. team. <laughs> this, is, this is quite the uh, welcome. This is a nice little <laughs> intro, right? This is I, fun. I would love to, to say that this every shoot, right? Yeah, yeah totally. We totally <laughs> drive around in a badass car. We take a Porsche everywhere uh, we go. Yes. So, little secret, you are from California. And we won't <laughs> hold that against you. I know, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be funny being the, the one that isn't from Texas. However, I'm excited to offer, hopefully, a, a unique perspective having lived a couple different places. Sure. Being from California, lived in Tennessee, lived in North Carolina. Right. But I've been in Texas over two years now, and nice. I've loved exploring this state, especially because it's so big. I feel like right. I, I just, I still have so much ground to cover. Yes, <laughs> we definitely pride ourselves. Have you, speaking of pride, have you felt the Texas pride that is so well known yes. across the country? And that, yes? Yes. Yeah. I, I quickly picked up when I moved here that Texas is, is not it even like it's bigger than its own state it's its own thing it's a it's a way of life it's a lifestyle that is so true it's, it's are... a certain lifestyle and that's exactly what we try to showcase on our show exactly exactly <laughs> stay right there yellow texas will be right back welcome back to this special episode of yellow texas so tell me about the vibe of Houston, um, since Houston's such an, an eclectic city and there's so mm -hmm. much going on here. Yeah, well I truly feel like it's like a melting pot of diversity. Like yeah. we have our own like swag for sure. <laughs> I mean, I would say so. <laughs> so we definitely like food, food wise, check out Little India, uh -huh. Chinatown. Ooh. Um, we have like really good Vietnamese yeah. food is my favorite. Oh my gosh. I've had Thai some food. really good Thai food here in Thai Houston food, before. yeah, really good. Yes. But I'm looking forward to featuring more food places here mm -hmm. in Houston for sure. So big and there's so many different types of people who come here from all over. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably my favorite part is like the diversity and being around all these different types of people. How did you get involved into TV? Fun fact that like a lot of people don't know, I don't even know if you know this, um, I actually did my first semester of college here at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, and then I decided I needed a change of pace. So we moved to San Antonio, yeah. and I went to the University of Incarnate Words. I actually was more focused on doing marketing. Oh, really? So that was like my big thing. I wanted to be in marketing. Yeah. And then I moved over to our sister company, the PM Group. Mm -hmm. I started splitting my time between PM and Quarter Moon Productions. Nice. So I've been at Quarter Moon Productions. That's where we met. Five, yeah. QMP. QMP. Um, been there for five years and it's been like the time of my life. Nice. Met some really, really amazing people. Um, but one of the first people that I got to work with is Erin. So a great thing about being here in San Marcos is 
This actually was the first place that we filmed at to shoot the demo, the pilot for our show. So That's right. It never saw the light of day. That's right. It was just a demo. But yeah. it was something that we just tried out. We had one camera up, one host, no script, kind of just walked around, just figured out what our theme and fuel was going to be like. So yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take you to the one spot that we spent a lot of time in. Tell me first what brought you to Texas, because you come from a yeah. sports background, right? I do, yeah. Okay. I've been in sports broadcasting the last five years, um, and I've been a sports anchor and reporter at a number of different stations, most recently in Tennessee and before that North Carolina, but I moved to Texas for sports tonight, mm -hmm. for our 30-minute sports show that we had here at Quarter Moon Productions, and got to work with some amazing people, a great, ta um, great talented team. Yeah. Got to cover the Spurs, yes. the Cowboys. I got to go to Jerry's right. World. Yeah. Um, also all the went over. Yes, yeah. yes. Went over to Houston. Covered the Astros, and most recently in their World Series run in 2019. That yeah. was one of the, my favorite memories and one of the best experiences I've ever had. That's awesome. Um, so tech sports brought me to Texas, but I'm here because I love Texas. So what's really cool about you is we, you know, we're always on road trips, um, traveling the state. But you get to see Texas in a whole other point of view because you get to see it from the skies. Yeah. Because um, you're a pilot, which I feel like a lot of people don't know that about you. Yeah. Right? No, I, I, uh, I got my pilot's license a handful of years ago, and I did it because I just I grew up close to a little airport in in Laporte, Texas. Yeah. So I always wanted to fly, and when I finally had the opportunity to do it, I'd use the the plane to kind of solve the one large problem any Texan who's lived here for any amount of years knows that we have, which is it takes absolutely forever to get anywhere here. Yes, exactly. Uh, between the traffic and just the distance between point A and point B. For sure. So the thing that sticks out to me about flying at that level is that most people get in a, in a uh, commercial flight mm -hmm. and they're only really paying attention to you know, the things outside their window for the first three or four minutes after they take off. But when you're flying, in a small plane, you basically see things at a close enough, you know, distance that you can still recognize what they are, mm -hmm. but see how small we are relative to, right. to kind of the state. So, ice cream. I took my lactose-free pill. That's right, you. you're lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. Yay, we're here. Welcome to Argentina. Uh, this business started uh, 25 years ago. Nice. Uh, my father started with this business in Argentina and then in Venezuela. And we are here in Houston Nice. And I can recommend you uh, the most popular flavor, um, like uh, Daniel's chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's a chocolate gelato with uh, chocolate cake, chocolate fudge, and those are the leche sauce. Mm -hmm. I, I love idea. chocolate. <laughs> I know. Okay, yeah. I call that one. I know. Okay. <laughs> Really good. Yeah, it's so good. Very rich. I love so. this cake on top. Stay right where you are. Yellow Texas will be right back. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the season four premiere of Yolo Texas. All right, so, so we are pulling up to this place called Munchies. Hopefully they're going to have some delicious, refreshing snacks for us. Sounds good to me. My friend Jill here has never <laughs> had a mangonada, so... Ever? Never, <laughs> no, but I've heard so much about it. So okay. we came here, <laughs> yes. Can help with that? <laughs> so one mangonada for both. One mangonada. And yeah. I will have a fresanada for you. Should be delicious. Oh. Ooh, thank oh. you. Oh. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. It's so pretty. All right. It looks great. Ooh. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Salud. What 
are you looking forward to for season four? Season four, I'm excited to just explore new places, yep. you know? Because so we are places. located in San Antonio, it's easier for us to get kind of sucked into Central Texas. Mm -hmm. I love that our audience is growing and giving us recommendations too. So yes. that's always fun, just interacting All and then the time. seeing what they recommended and going out there and why they love it and seeing it for our, our own eyes. So yeah. I'm, I'm pumped to see new places. I just love how different every city is and every part of Texas. It, yeah, it's truly so different. Texas is such a unique state in the fact that, I mean, you have the, the coastline. Fact that it's better than all every the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have the coastline. You have, like, the pine tree forest. Like, East going out Texas. East Texas. I mean, North Texas, you've got beautiful areas like Calder Canyon. Yeah. yeah. I think West Texas is just, like, that's the area that we need to, like, hit up next. Yeah. Where else do you want to go in Texas? That you haven't experienced. Trilingua, I mean, Trilingua. I have not been to Trilingua. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Trilingua AC, and the yeah. crew has been to Big Bend, which uh -huh. was amazing. It was an far, epic trip yeah. for them. So cool. Going to Trilingua was still Dude. easily one of my favorites. Oh, I, all the hosts. It's so funny because every time I ask them, like, where's one place you want to go? I feel like all of them are like the ones that have not been out there. I'm like, I want to go to Trilingua and I want to go to the chili cook-off like JB did, so. Yeah, I think my bucket list now would be to try to make it out to, you know, um, I would love to have an opportunity to get to Guadalupe uh, Mountain National Park. Yeah. Um, obviously, like uh, El Paso and, and that, you know, area too, so. Yeah. I'm excited to go to a lot of different areas, parts of Texas that I haven't been from sports. I know. also haven't been to the coast either. I haven't you seen, haven't been to the coast? I'm such a beach girl and I haven't even been to the beach here in Texas. So that's probably number one on I my list. Been to Padre, yeah, <laughs> I haven't been to Padre. I've heard so much about Fort A. I've heard yes. so much about these beautiful island escapes almost on the coast. And yeah. I that is number one on my list for sure for season four. Yellow Texas will be right back. Welcome back to season four of Yolo Texas. All right, spokesman coffee. Yeah, so I uh, I come by here quite a bit, nice. uh, especially uh, these days with kiddo. I'm always um, down for coffee. I'm a big uh, Americano. That's guy. right. And I remember you like always get that. It's like a thousand degrees outside. I always do it iced. I'm gonna do. Um, well, I'll do a cold brew. Yeah. All right, so season four, we have a lot of stuff coming up. I'm excited to have you on more journeys. Everything went by so fast with the first three, so I'm excited to see everything yeah. coming up for season four. No, I'm, I'm excited to play a part in just helping people remember what it was like to get out and uh, you know explore this great state and promote some really awesome places to visit once we can get back out yeah. into the world. Safely, uh, for safely sure. Safely <laughs> around uh, this, this beautiful state Definitely. of ours. Definitely. Well, so. thank you for the coffee. It's yeah. delicious. Cheers. Cheers. And here's season four. Yeah. Cool. Driving down this road has brought back so many memories. When I was in high school, my senior year, I was the Blue Black Council number one to get the Las Flores Queen. <laughs> Y'all have like a fiesta, like San Antonio version, um, or version of fiesta. It's a scholarship program, and it had to do with Lakota Nice. So you do like the whole aspect of like interview, evening gown, like for a pageant. Uh huh. The only difference is you do Lakota dancing. Nice. So growing up, I always did flamenco and flamenco. Yeah, nice. So I, I never knew that. I yeah. loved it. That's how you built up those amazing calves yes. you have. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> so Jackie, you guys know I'm such a sports person, and having played college softball, baseball is has always been just my my love, my love, my one true love. 
And so I actually have a secret talent when it comes to baseball. <laughs> okay, what is your secret talent, Joe? I can name all 30 baseball teams. You can name all 30 baseball teams? In alphabetical order. Oh my gosh. In less than 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one, go. Angels, Astros, Athletics, Braves, Braves, Brewers, Cardinals, Cubs, Devil Rays, Diamondbacks, Dodgers, Giants, Indians, Mariners, Marlins, Mets, Arrows, Prodigies, Phillies, Pirates, Rangers, Reds, Red Sox, Rockies, Royals, Tigers, Twins, White Sox, Yankees. Woo <laughs> hoo Nice. That was impressive, Jill. During this whole quarantine, is there anything that you're able to kind I'm of cooking. replicate at home? You're cooking? Yeah. What are you lot. cooking? Um, so I perfected my Mexican perfected. rice. Yes. <gasps> And I make really good tacos, like my like Mexican chicken tacos. Uh -huh. How do you I like make them? fry them. I fry the tortilla, right? It's like mm -hmm. a corn. I mm -hmm. fry it, and then I get it crunchy and crispy. Yeah. And then I put the meat in there and everything. Like How that. do you cook the meat? I don't know if what I want to What kind of spices? I don't want to tell you. Why not? I don't want you to steal my spices. <laughs> it's real rude. Uh, I put so, okay. I it depends on my mood. You know what? We're gonna have a. Mexican rice cook-off. Okay, and empanadas. And I can make really good empanadas. So what's what's new with you, AC? Yeah, so season four is even more special because um, I am pregnant. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. I have a little cinnamon bun in my stomach. <laughs> Not the one we just ate, but. That's why you've been craving, yeah. right? All the sweets and yeah. the breads and all those things. Yeah, so. Um, nice. I, oh my God, that's so exciting. Season four, um, oh. y'all will see me grow. Wow. <laughs> I will get to say that I am going to be a mom. Here's to season four. Season yeah. four, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a good one.